Look, part of what I love about my wife is that life is not dull. There's always <laughs> something that's going on. And if it were just me, pretty much everything would be very predictable. It would be very routine. You would know what was coming down the pike. Life would not throw you a lot of surprises. You would be so straight and narrow. Yep. And she is just the opposite. She is the curviest of curveballs. Yep. Never know what you're going to get. Just out of nowhere. Just, whoa, well, I did not see that coming. I've been <laughs> with her a very, very long time, decades upon decades. And still, you're just like, okay, crazy. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> But uh, it does. It does. And, you know, hey, you got to learn how to react on your feet, on the fly. And look, through the course of our marriage, there are a lot of times where I just have learned to bring it in, not say a word, sit on it a while and work through it. And sometimes I've been able to win in some of those situations by not e e reacting with emotion immediately. She'll wear herself down yes. sometimes. And if you wait it out, the crazy idea will flush it out on her own right. without you saying anything. Do you ever slip up and that emotional Kevin does come out? Or, or have you learned that it just doesn't even happen anymore? I'm pretty good. It's, it's very rare. And it would only come out if she's held on to it for a while. And I have to say, all right, I have to let you know because it's past the usual time of where your harebrained ideas start to, <laughs> you know, simmer down. And now it's still boiling. Simmer and down now. I got to let you know because I've not expressed my opinion, but here it is. <laughs> Uh-oh. And, and that's usually when it happens, where after a certain amount of time that I will get a little bit more vocal and... I'll bristle up a little bit So more. is this a new idea that she just hit you with this weekend? Or is this one of those things she's been working out for a while? It's an idea I feared one day would come. I, oh, my gosh. I hope it's not what I'm thinking it is. I hope it's not what I'm thinking it is. Is she going up full on face tat? She will tell you that she's not because it's by her ear. But dog, it's a face tap. Oh, it wow! I, you were fearful for this. She said she was going to do it, but nobody believed her. I believed her. I never. I doubt, did not I believe never her. Doubted. I thought the next thing she'd be like, "No, I'm not going to go any further up." If you've missed the whole saga of how this began, when my daughter got into her 20s, she started doing tattoos. And my wife, when I met her, had one small little discreet rose in the bikini line. She didn't know. I was all cool with it. Fine. Whatever. But I guess as a way to bond and also to try to, I think, remain young and youthful, <laughs> she thought tattoos was the way to go. Because, hey, a lot of the young kids are getting the tattoos. Hey, they're not what they used to be in the day. And I get all that. But They don't have the stigma that they used to have. You're right. But you're still primarily seeing kids in their 20s getting them. And I do see women of my wife's age sometimes doing desperate things to try to hold on to their youth and feeling like, hey, let me try to prove to you that I still got it. Mentally, I'm a 20-year-old, even though I'm in a 40-plus-year-old body. <laughs> and one tattoo led to another. My daughter started getting them. Then we're talking about sleeves, then tattoos on the hands. And I'm like, okay, uh, I was always good as long as we had the cover-up thing going on. But you can't hide something on your knuckles. My wife being an educator... <laughs> of pre-K children, I thought tattoos might be something that could one day inhibit her ability to find work and thus our financial situation. Then my daughter was talking about getting a neck tattoo, and that's where I was like, oh, no, please, let's not do it. And originally it was going to be a butterfly right on the front of the throat. Oh, my god! Something that unless you're wearing a turtleneck, which a lot of times in South Florida you don't want to wear a turtleneck. Amen. And I thought, okay, this isn't going to be great. Then it became three crosses on the side of the neck. That's where it all went. And they said, hey, we can put our hair down and cover it up. Got to that, lost all that. Then I thought, okay, let's just protect ourselves from the face tat. And my daughter comes to me and she says, I want to get a tattoo of her younger brother. His name is Cannon on the front little part of her neck in Hebrew. I'm like, okay. She's like, but I'm not going to tell mom because I know if mom finds out that she'll want to get it as well. And I know how you feel about that. And that's just the way it goes. So I don't know what happened, 
But apparently a conversation was had, and Caitlin did not do what she said she was going to do. And my wife said, you know what? I'm going to get that uh, cannon tattoo. I'm like, are we really going for the front of the throat now? I'm Point like, to the area on Kevin, if, if anybody's watching on what KDJ is that TV. Divot? That you have there, that I have there, right at the base of your throat. The That's base where of your neck, mm-hmm. the front facing right above middle. your sternum. Mm-hmm. It's like a little hole there. Yeah. So I think that's where Caitlin is going. And so my wife said, yeah, so, you know, we're going to get that tattoo. I was like, oh, okay. So you talk to uh, Caitlin. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to get it right here uh, next to my ear on the side of my jaw. Okay. If you know where your inner ear is. Kind of in your sideburn. And I said, so we're talking about a face tat now. She's like, oh, no, no, no. It's like an ear tattoo. I'm like, no, no, that that's face. Ear starts here. Right. The tattoo starts there. That's face. That's face. That, that is a face tattoo. And so we couldn't even come to an agreement on semantics, which I feel like I'm right on semantics. You are. I'm like, now we're going into the level of face tattoo. And I'm like, well, what are, you gonna, what are, what are we going to do? Jelly roll? Is that what we're doing? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, if you've not seen the artist Jelly Roll, who did a... <laughs> Super Bowl commercial ragging on how he doesn't necessarily love his tattoos. And, oh, man, if I could just do it again, I don't know that I'd have all these face tattoos. Post Malone, too. <laughs> Post Malone's got that look going on, too, the face tats. Yeah. I'm like, so where where are we going here with this? Like, Because, you know, look, you haven't stopped yet. And I had thought, okay, I'll let one go. Then it got two. Then it got three. Then it was sleeves. Then it's hands. Then it's neck. And, you know, now I guess I'm just one day going to be married to Jelly Roll or Post Malone. Do you just accept the fact that... you? They're going to do it anyway. Whether you state your opinion anyway, they're going to do it. Yeah, because there's just minimal fight. But it's just, look, like I said, I'm not necessarily a tattoo guy. And if you want to have them on other parts of your body, that's fine. And that, to me, was kind of the compromise. Go on ahead. But, yeah, when we're looking at the things, for me, hey, face is what makes you attracted to somebody. I'm not attracted to tattoos. So I'm just saying you are, I would expect, about to go down a path where, if you continue this like you have, I'm not going to find you attractive at some point. Is that what she's going for? I don't know. I so- don't know. I don't know that she cares. And it's just to me, it's like, I just I think it's nice to be attracted to your partner. I think it's kind of critical for what's going on. Well, you know, Panda got that neck tat, not on his face. It's below his ear. And it, I can still see you, it. You can look at his face and you can see the eyes and the attractiveness and whatever, and and you're still there. But I think I would get to the place where the first thing I'd always notice is a tattoo, and a tattoo that I didn't really want. I'd be like, eh, okay. I still see Panda's tattoo every time. I don't like it. I I think it's too close to his face. And it's not even on his face. And it still hurts my feelings every time I see it. So if the queen did that... Uh Are, are, are your feelings hurt? Are you bothered by that? Do you feel disrespected? Yeah, because it's you don't take into any consideration. You just blow right over it. It doesn't matter what I think. I asked you not to do it, and you did it anyway. Yeah. And I told you that it was going to make me sad, but you don't care. You don't care, and now I'm telling you you're getting to a level where I'm not going to find you attractive. On that, and I can't. I can only help how I feel. I can't lie about it. I know some people are like, well, that's not right. You should love her no matter what. Well, I'm going to love her. But tr- attraction is something that I don't know. A lot of times you have control over that. Attraction. As a person. It's his truth. <laughs> no, I, I, you can't control who you're attracted to. I, or I, how, I, yeah. Yes. I think you find certain things attractive. Now, you can still love the person and be like, hey, sure. I'm attracted to their qualities, but physically, I still want the attraction. Line. There are turn ons and turn offs. Right. And well, there's an artist that I think is very pretty, a young country artist, and she has face tattoos. And I was like, Huh. It it doesn't it kind of kills the attraction for me on her. And I just know that we'd be going down that route with my wife. Well that's I mean that's a celebrity artist that's it's a musician. You're right, really exactly. About your wife. Yeah. The preschool teacher. <laughs> it's uh, it's yeah. those are two different worlds. But Abs- I, absolutely. I, I'm just the thing I, I, I'm curious because I couldn't I wouldn't be able to take that if I expressed myself and someone still did it. Kind of like the neck tattoo. You weren't happy about that. Right. And then it's going down the same road. What do you do in that situation emotionally? Because you are upset about Drink. it. Drink. No, I, I think what happens, and this is what I'm worried about, you start to withdraw. And if it gets to a certain level and it's like, okay, yeah, all right. I'm not, uh, you know, your pa- it's like I'm not feeling it. You know, and that's where we're going to get. And that's not good for a marriage. No. You know, when you're kind of that way and you're like, all right, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. People always ask me, so... For- 
like a moment like this, are you gonna get beef from the queen for talking about this? No, because she knows that this is this is what we do. And look, you're you're bringing it on to yourself. And this is hey, this is how I make my money. And this is you know relating real life. And it's also too to get a little bit of perspective because the way I'm leaning on it right now is I think I'm gonna just have this kind of honest conversation with her. And I choked back the words over the weekend and said, give it a little bit of time. Let's see where it goes. Don't say nothing yet. And and my daughter knows how I feel about it. And that's why I was like, so what happened? Like, you weren't going to talk to her and clearly some conversation happened. And now she's she's going to go a higher level than you. Like, she's not going to go a little subtle on the front part of the neck. neck. She's going to go on the face. Yeah. By the ear. Right. But yeah. It's in, still. It's by the area where a man's sideburn is. And the reason why I'm scared is nothing has stopped this train. It's just, I thought, okay, I'm not going to say anything about the first two or three or every, four. Every and, idea came to fruition. You, you, yes. you don't get, you, you it still, does, the train is not, it's it's picking up momentum. Well, you don't get listened to. You, you express opinions and how you feel. And, right. I mean, it's just. That's what it sounds like. I would I would listen. If my wife said something about, hey, I find that attractive on you, I would listen because I care about being attracted to my wife. So I would just tell her, be like, I'm telling you that if you start going face tattoos, I'm not going to really be attracted to you. It's going to affect our marriage. I don't know where it ends, but I'll just tell you that's where it goes. So if you want to just be, hey, well, buddy, buddy, and I'll knuckle bump you because I don't really find you that attractive, <laughs> that's where the marriage is going. Do you think sometimes... We're going to a knuckle bump marriage. Is that what she wants? I don't know. Maybe it is. Do, do you think sometimes it is done to, to... If you express you don't like it, do you find that then that makes her want to do it even more? Well, then you got to ask her and be like, hey, what do you think about the marriage? Do you Are you trying to sabotage it? Do you not want me touching you? If that's the case, then why are we married? We can still be friends and keep it amicable. And, you know, we just won't find any attraction to each other. It's a different kind of relationship. Then we're great friends. That's depressing. Well, it's the truth, right? I yeah. mean, the, how, how else does it go? If that's anybody else can, truth. If anybody no, else can I, walk me through it no. and tell me, hey, you're you're taking this way out of no, line. No, you're, you're, you're not taking it way out of line. because yeah. I don't think you're the only person to go through this because I went through it with Panda with his neck tat that I still to this day hate. Yeah. And when I see it, you know, he's got the hair growing over it now, so I can't see it as much. Right. But when he gets a haircut, I see it and it makes me sad because yeah. I said, please don't do that. I don't want that. That and it didn't matter. Well, right. I, I, yeah. I've, I've worked with you for 20 years, and I can tell when you're annoyed, or I can tell there's a, there's some emotion behind this, which is it, I'm, I'm glad you show it. It's finally gotten to the point where there's just now there's the line that I kind of drew, and with this, the line I feel is crossed to me. They're dancing on your line. And do you feel like it's going to definitely happen, in your opinion? I, yeah, I think I think we're at a better chance than not that it's going to happen, and probably soon. And so, you know, I gave it the weekend, and the next chance as the conversation comes up, I'm gonna say, look, please, I'm just asking for this. Can you just give me like no face tats? Man, I'm, I'm not, not down with face tats. I'm not gonna lie, marriage sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> It shouldn't be this difficult. It really shouldn't. I mean, I think that's a, a reasonable request, right? Yeah, I don't think Can you're... we not go face tats? <laughs> it is not a crazy request. Kevin, I yeah. I think face, neck, I think all of that area is yeah. just it's next level. It's not the same as a sleeve. Mm-hmm. It's not the same as a, right. you know, torso tat. But all that. Face and neck is just different. And what? I even I, hey, I've even adapted to the neck tat but it's just the face nah you are, i know i'm not gonna adapt to that you are not wrong and you shouldn't feel bad about this yeah you just you shouldn't feel bad i, I know someone's gonna say it's her body and blah blah i i, we, I agree we all but, understand that we all yeah. get that and that's, that's not why, what we're talking about that's why look if she wants to do it she can do it but you do what you want to do i'll let you know how it'll make me feel and we'll see if that makes any impression on you and then We'll see where it goes from there. So this is step one, and now we got to just kind of see where it rides. I'll wait for the opportunity to bring present itself, and it will. And I will take it to the next level and have basically the conversation I just had with you guys. Good luck. And then we'll see where it goes, and I'll bring it back in. I'll let you know if it had any effect. I hope it works out, man. I do, too. I, I, I hope that the face tat at least looks good. <laughs>
<laughs> well, the thing that always uh, amuses me about this is somebody gets something in a different language, and then they find out from somebody who's Hebrew that, oh, that says something really profane, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, that's not the word canon at all. Like, I know what you're talking about, and you're going to be very offensive to anybody who can read Hebrew. How does Canon feel about mom getting his name tattooed on her face? I don't think he even knows or cares. He's, yeah, it's... He's whatever. Because I'd be weirded out. Yeah, maybe I need to he, just play video games all the time. That's that's how he seems to just, <laughs> just close yourself in a room and that's play some video games. Maybe this is what maybe I need you to get do the too. teen boy tune out. Yeah, you, you that's should it. Get, you should get that little that little uh, shed you have outside that, with yeah. all the rats and turn yeah. that into your own game room. This maybe is why it. a lot of times you'll see dads in the family just sitting and staring out the window yeah. for like twenty minutes. Oh, right. I saw it. My dad. I would ask him a question. Hey, Dad, well, when are we playing tennis? And then 23 minutes later, oh, about uh, 9 a.m., he just was staring <laughs> off just in thinking the distance. About it all. Just thinking about, man, yeah. it's tough in these parts. You ladies give us guys a lot to think about, man. <laughs> a lot to think about. I'm on a spin cycle. Yeah.